Welcome back to the uh, second video in the RPG systems on the uh, entity leveling uh, section. Um, in this video, we're going to go back into our RPG entity level and add on the experience section so we can actually level our entity through adding experience. Um, okay, so uh, let's just jump straight into back into coding and we'll open up our uh, entity level script. So last time we had all our leveling code here. So at the bottom, or well, actually, let's start off at the top and start writing off all our variables that we will be using with our uh, experience section. So in our uh, variables at the top, we'll start adding um, private int exp current and private int exp required. Now we're gonna have, well, actually, I'm gonna start typing out the uh, properties for these as well, but for the main idea, the exp current and the exp required will be used to pretty much calculate when our entity levels up. So when the uh, exp current value is either below zero or above, of the exp required value, our level for our entity will change. If the current value goes below zero, we'll level down. And if its value goes above the required amount, it, we will level up. So let me just finish up these properties. And also up here on our private variables, we do not need the sterilized field because these two variables will only be required during gameplay. So we don't, we wouldn't set these inside the editor. You could add the sterilized field to the current value if you wanted to set, say, this character starts off at with like 100 experience every time or something like that. But we don't need to do that. We'll jump down below. Actually, we'll just do it above all our leveling stuff. We'll just type it. We'll just go from our properties here. Now, the core of uh, this um, experience system in this uh, entity level class is going to be one method that uh, calculates our required amount of experience based on a level. So, for this method, we're actually going to make it abstract so that we can create new classes that inherit from the RPG entity level class that will define how that new derived class, how the experience is calculated per on a class base. So we'll define this. So abstract int, and this will be get exp required or level. And this will take an int and this will be the level. Actually, I don't need to do that. It's abstract. So up here, we will have to uh, modify our RPG entity level class to be abstract or else we will get an error. So now we can uh, step through a couple things. First off, I'm gonna make a private void awake. So when this object is created, we're gonna set exp required to be equal to the get exp required for level. And we'll set this to whatever the level is. Next, we'll add two more methods that will uh, allow us to set and change our current, um, current experience. So we'll go public void modify exp int amount. This will add this amount to the current experience. So plus equals amount. And then we'll also do public void set current exp int value. So we will set the current exp straight directly to this value by just assigning it to it. Now the next two uh, methods we're going to actually kind of mimic the internal structure of the increase current level. 
where we have calling another method. So in here, we're going to be creating a, let's start with the internal one. We're going to go private void internal check current exp. What this method's going to do is check if the current exp is below or above, well, if it's below zero or above the required amount, and then it's going to increase or decrease the level of the entity by that and pretty much change the current exp to reflect that. So in here, we're going to actually restrict, well, we're going to continuously do this checking until the current value is below, between zero and the required amount. So we'll be doing this in a while loop. We'll just go while true. So if exp current is greater than exp required, we're going to take the exp current and minus the current required amount. And then we're going to go internal, increase current level. This will subtract the required amount of EXP from the current, reducing it down back to, let's say, zero if it's equal to that or whatever. So you can start increasing towards the next level. And then it'll in call the internal increasing of the level, which will handle all manners of events and changing the values. Next, we'll do an else if. Else if the XP current is less than zero, we're going to kind of do the opposite. But instead of using the current required value, we're going to go current plus equals, since we're going the opposite direction. We're going to actually get the required EXP for the previous level. So the current level minus one. We'll calculate that and then add that to the current value. And then we will go internal decrease current level. And finally, we'll have a else. And this will be called once our value is between zero and the required amount. We'll finally just break out of our while loop. So now we'll move on up and create the public version of this method and just go check current exp. And this will just call internal, the internal check for this. Now we'll jump back up to our modify and our set. And in these, we want to actually call our check current exp public method. and not our actual internal version of it. Since in our next step, we're gonna add a event for a gaining experience. So we can uh, move on down. Actually, we can jump back into Unity and we're gonna create an additional event args for our new event that we're gonna be creating. So we'll create a new c -sharp script and call this exp gain event args. Do the same, just go uh, using system. Change inheriting from mono behavior into event args. And we can remove these scripts. We're gonna create only one read only property and this will be exp gained. And the thing behind this property, the exp gained, this isn't just adding experience onto our entity. This value can be negative or positive. So when we gain or lose experience, this way we don't have to have two different events for that. You can possibly create two different events if you really want to, but this way you can just check if the value is positive or negative in the same event. And we'll just create our uh, constructor and assign the values. Cool. Come back into Unity and then open back up our entity level. Move up 
where our events are and we'll just add on one more event, event handler. And this one's gonna be using our RPG EXP game event. And we'll just call this on entity EXP gain. Now we'll go down to our code that we just recently added and make it so that this is called correctly when we want to do this. So in our modify EXP, this is pretty simple. Before we check the current experience, we're going to actually call this go entity level gain. It's not equal null. We go past this and use the new arguments. And the experience gain is going to be exactly equal to the amount since we're just adding it on. I'm going to copy paste this, bring it down into our set current. Now we're going to have to calculate a quick uh, value here before we actually assign the value to the current. We'll go exp gained equals the value minus xp current. So this will get the difference of how much experience we actually gained. And we'll just use this value inside our, as our arguments parameter in the event. And that's what we need to do to get that event triggering correctly. So one additional thing we're gonna be doing before we end this, is now that we have ex experience working in this, when we level up or our level changes, we're gonna be calling a couple extra functions in our increase, decrease, and set level methods. So we'll come down here and we'll just modify the, a few of them slightly so they actually work correctly. And let's see. So first off in our internal current level, when we hit the max level, we're gonna take the exp current and we're gonna assign that to the get exp current for the level. So once you hit your level cap, your level bar will reach to the max and then just stop. You can change this around also to where it's just zero if you want that way, or you can do it this way. Either way, they both work. And then after this check, we're gonna go exp required and we're gonna go exp required for level and set it to the new level that we just increased to. This way the exp required is always correct for our level every time we increase. We'll jump into our internal decrease and it's pretty much gonna be the same, but inside our if check, we're gonna current equals zero. So as we're decreasing, you never can get below zero exp on the lowest level. And we'll also do our required equals get exp required for the level. Check right there as well. Now we're going to change our set level method call just slightly. I'm going to copy the header of it and create a new method, same name, that we'll just call the set level. But we're going to be changing this second or our previous version of the set level to have an additional parameter, and this will be clear exp. And above in the single parameter version, we're just gonna go pass the target level and pass true. Because by default, we want the set level to always clear the experience when we change to a new level through the set level method. So inside here though, after setting the level to the new one, we're going to go exp required equals get exp required for level. We'll assign it to the level that we just set. Now, to use this new parameter that we got for clear, we're going to go if clear exp is true, we're going to set current exp to zero. If we do not clear the current experience, we want to calculate or we want to check the current exp to see if we actually level up or down. So the reason f we defaultly uh, clear it is because otherwise, if you have a certain amount of experience that's greater than 
the um, the current required experience, our entity will level up after we set the level. So it won't be the level that we actually want to set. But this can be an option if you want. Also, you could come in here later and change this. So if you set the level, it require it keeps the same percentage of experience, but not the actual value. But yeah, you can add that later on if you really wanted to. And yeah, that is all we need to do for our entity level class. And um, next, we'll just jump into Unity. And we will create a new folder. And I'm just going to call this entity levels. Sets, oops, I put that in the event arcs. I mean, at that leveling. Yeah, this folder will just contain our classes that inherit from the entity level. So we'll create a new C sharp script and I'll call this RPG default level. So what we want to do here is inherit from our RPG entity level class. Remove the Unity related code and we can go implement abstract which will just create an override for our get experience required for level. Now what I'm going to type in here is just, in here you would add whatever code you want for figuring out what the experience for the current level of the character is. I'm just going to do something simple. Well, kind of simple. Final value needs to be an int. But I'm going to be doing, well, some stuff. So we'll take math, we'll do the power, and we'll take the current level of the entity and put it to the power of two. And then we'll take that value and times it by 100. <laughs> and finally, we'll take that complete value and just add 100. So starting value will be 100. And then every level it'll increase by an amount that will just increase over time to higher amounts. But this will just set the value for examples. But yeah, that's that would be how you would a change how the levels are calculated for your entity level. Cool. And finally, we will, well, actually that's where I'm gonna end this tutorial and in the next video, we're going to be stepping into creating our RPG entity class, which will hold all relating scripts to a specific entity. And we will create a simple uh, experience bar that will display the values within this class so we can actually see it working correctly. So until the next video, hope this was helpful and I'll see you then.